Hey guys, it's Tarot and Beyond. Welcome to your November month ahead reading. So we have three groups to choose from as usual today. We'll be using these significators. Group number one is the take a break. Group number two is the plane ticket that says keep exploring. And group number three is the road sign or signpost saying it's okay to take detours. If you feel called to more than one group, that's totally fine. There may just be multiple messages from within different groups that pertain to you in the month of November. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so just take what messages resonate and leave the rest. And sometimes you won't know how something resonates or how it's contextualized until after the fact. So sometimes coming back at the end of November and reviewing this video may be helpful as well to see things play out or to understand things a little bit more deeply. You can use the timestamps linked in the description box or the chapter notes below to jump ahead to your chosen reading or readings, and we'll see you there. All right, hi group number one, welcome to your reading for November. You chose the take a break pin. So this one is talking about you needing to pay attention to something or to stop for a minute because you're going to be given awareness of something that you wouldn't have otherwise had if you had kept pushing forward or you were overly busy. They're showing me somebody clairvoyantly right now multitasking, like doing multiple things at once. I'm also seeing an octopus. So you may have your hands in many pots or you may be trying to do multiple things at once. And in the month of November, one of the main themes that you may be noticing or that you're guided to by spirit here is to slow down to take a break, to relax in some way. And especially if something's overheating, they just showed me um, a computer overheating. So you you don't want to hit burnout. You don't want to overtax your system. And being prepared in this way or having this foreknowledge will help you to make better decisions going forward through the month because there is a chance, at least from what Spirit's showing me here, that you may get a little overwhelmed. You may have too much going on. They're showing me pots on a stove and there's like five pots somehow on the stove at once and they're all boiling over. So it's like, you're trying to do too much here, okay? And Spirit is recommending that you slow down. Now we're going to get some more messages. We're going to use tarot, oracle, charms, and letters today to go really, really in depth into what is going on for you in the month of November. So let's actually start out with the coffee cup oracle. The number 137 could be significant, 141 as well. And the coffee, something about coffee. It's like you may be a little wired or on edge in the month of November because you have so much going on, or it's like you're downing multiple cups of coffee, either literally or, you know, trying to get the energy in some way to, to do the work that you have. It's like work is piling up and there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. Abundance and luck with the fish. This is good. I think here, group number one, that if you take a break, if you honor your energy resources and you use them wisely and you don't overextend yourself here, there's going to be a boon, a blessing, some kind of luck or abundance that comes in as a result of that. I just saw 222 as well. So take the time that you need because that is actually going to be the most productive thing you can do. It's going to bring in the money. It's going to bring in the resources rather than running yourself ragged or burning the candle at both ends. They're actually showing me a pencil being sharpened at both ends. That's interesting. <laughs> it's like you need the end with the eraser on it. And instead you've got two points that you can write with, but it's not as effective. I don't know why that's coming up. Dog, loyalty and determination. I do get the sense that you are a dog with a bone in November. Like, I don't think that you're doing all of this work and multitasking in this way because you don't want to. It doesn't feel like you're being forced to, to do it. It just feels like you have a lot on your plate and you're managing multiple things. You're juggling multiple balls because you're loyal, because you're determined, because you want to see some kind of an effect. It's like, if I do all of this, I'm going to get this result. And that may be true to some degree. Yes, there is luck and abundance here, for sure. And there is a certain level of alignment, but to stay in alignment, oh my God, again, I looked up at the time and it was 333. Three, three. So you're getting a lot of number, num number synchronicities, number coding that is significant for you here, group number one. But it's like, 
you know, there's something that you want to accomplish. I think that's kind of the main theme or energy that I'm getting from you in the month of November. There's something really big here that you're trying to accomplish. And it is part of something that you're very passionate about. Like, let's take the example of the cook in the kitchen. They want to cook this fantastic, really, I'm hearing the word festive, okay, something about festive meal. And it's difficult to do and it takes a lot of time and there's pressure involved and there's timing involved and having to do all of those different things and balance it all out but at the end of the day you're doing it because you love it not because you have to does that make sense I think that's why this even if it is a little stressful you love it um, and it is leading to your luck and to your abundance and to this idea or this goal that you're very loyal and determined to coming to fruition because you are meant to be doing this, but spirit is just kind of cautioning you to not overextend yourself. Does that make sense? Yes, stability and security to just find your center every now and then if you find yourself kind of like spinning in circles, like let's just put it that way. If in the month of November, you find yourself a little bit at odds with the timing or yeah, putting yourself in a position where you've got too much to do and not enough energy, not enough time, not enough support, find that center. Find that inner stability and that security because that's the luck. I also just got a message about protection. You're being protected. So um, like, let's say, for example, let's go back to the analogy of the, the pots on the stove. Let's say, for example, one of them boils over. There's going to be either someone else who intervenes and comes in and turns down the heat or stirs it or whatever needs to happen so that it doesn't turn into a big fire, right? So it's like, it's not going to get bad is basically what I'm seeing. Because you're in alignment, because you're doing what you're meant to be doing, even if it is a lot and there's pressure, the pressure's on, they're showing me a pressure cooker. <laughs> you're meant to be cooking whatever you're cooking here <laughs> this month, all right? And so you will have support, divine support or physical support. And it, even, you know what, the divine support could come in the form of physical support. You know, sometimes God works through other people's hands. And this is kind of what I'm seeing here. You've got the triangle, choices and indecision. This may be one of the main areas uh, or pitfalls that spirit wants you to watch out for. They're showing me the shape of the triangle and the shape of, you know, the, the, the warning sign on your significator, the triangle with the exclamation mark. So there's something here that they do want to warn you about. It's not something you need to be afraid of. It's just there may be so many things going on in November for you, which I think is a good thing. Actually, I would go so far as to say that it's a great thing just feeling into it energetically and getting a sense of what it's kind of tastes like. Again, I'm using that food analogy a lot. Maybe you'll be literally cooking. I don't know. But there's so much going on here, group number one for you, that you may have to make a lot of like on the ball decisions. It, it, just, it feels like you have a lot of responsibility in the month of November. And I think it's because you have a lot going on and you're fulfilling some kind of wish. I just heard that. You're fulfilling some kind of wish or some kind of dream or goal here. And the pressure is connected to that. So it's satisfying in a way you want it. It's kind of like, you know, um, let's say, for example, you get a promotion at work or you, you level up to like a higher level of responsibility in your job or career. And it comes with more work or it comes with more responsibility. You have to make bigger, you know, head of head of house decisions or head of staff decisions. You have to you have to do more, but it's what you've wanted for a long time. And it's a good thing because ultimately it makes you feel satisfied at the end of the day. You sit down when that meal is cooked and done and on the table and everyone's enjoying it and you get to relax and everybody takes care of you because you did all this work. It's worth it. Like I'm getting this energy of it's worth it. Spirit just wants you to know that if, if like, let's say, for example, you're faced with a big decision or you have multiple options and you've got a lot going on, spirit just wants you to stop in that moment and slow down. Because in that slowdown, in that moment, you're going to connect to the stability and the protection of the divine that is within you. That's going to help you to make decisions in the moment that are going to be most fruitful for you and lead to this luck and abundance because you're staying in alignment. 
the sun card. Come on, guys. Group number one, you're going to have a fantastic November. I'm calling it now. All right. I'm calling it now. You're going to have a really good November. A lot is blooming for you. That's what I heard. And I'm seeing that with the sun card, right? The sun grows, the flowers, the harvest, the luck, the abundance. There's illumination coming as a result of this work that you've put in and the effort. It's not even like work. It's like the effort, the amount of effort you're putting into something. Let's, let's reframe it because work feels like heavy. It has a heavy connotation to it. I feel like this is more like play which can sometimes be a little bit chaotic or all over the place or multiple things going on at once. But at the end of the day, like I said, I feel it's going to be really fruitful for you. Like by the end of November, going into December, I really get the sense group one that you're going to be loving life and you're going to have a lot to say for what you accomplished in November. Like you're going to look back and go, wow, the month of November was a big month for me. I made great strides or progress in this one particular area of my life, or maybe even multiple areas. Because again, you've got these choices, you've got the, the balls being juggled, and it could be in different areas. You could be juggling a lot in one particular field, like let's say work or career, you got a lot going on there. Or you could be juggling work, career, friends, family, relationship, finances, home, you know, like you're doing a lot. And um, I think you're owning it. (laughs) Can I say, I really feel like in the month of November, you're just you're you're crushing it, you're killing it, like you're doing a fantastic job in the moment, it might feel like, oh, my God, (laughs) Ah, all over the place. But let me tell you, from spirits perspective, the way that they're seeing you do things this month, they're like, no, 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 you're actually doing a really good job. The only thing we would recommend is maybe just like stop every now and then. (laughs) and chill for a minute three of swords part of one of the one of the balls that you may be juggling is doing some healing work here i'm i just heard finding out who is loyal to you okay finding out who is loyal to you the knight of wands and who isn't but i think it's not going to be a bad thing Increase in security, I'm hearing. Increase in security. Uh, You're being protected from the inside out, from the outside in. Something's being revealed here. Something's being illuminated and it's connected to your alignment and your luck. It's connected to whatever you're being called to do. You may have some decisions to make and you you, you could go a little back and forth on something here, but I, I don't see you... I don't see you getting overwhelmed and I don't see you feeling put out by anything. Yeah, you're owning your power. Queen of Wands, confirmation. That's what I'm feeling intuitively. And I'm an intuitive style reader. So yes, I use the cards, but I can feel the energy and it feels strongly like you are owning it. You're in your power. You're taking on this responsibility, grabbing the bull by the horns and owning it, even though it's kind of all over the place. You've got this. You've got this. You've got this. You've got this. You are in your balance. You are able to juggle these balls. You are able to master these skills. You are able to cover all the bases. They just showed me Angels in the Outfield, which is a movie I used to like to watch when I was a kid. I, I need to rewatch it. I haven't watched it in years, but that I was just saying you're covering all the bases. And then they showed me Angels in the Outfield. And it's like, you're the pitcher. And you're throwing strike after strike after strike. You're switching up your game. You're doing the entire thing. And the reason why you can cover all the bases and still play this main position is because there's angels in your outfield. There's angels covering all the other bases. So Spirit is also saying like, it's okay to relax a little bit and not push yourself so hard because we've got you. Like Spirit has got you. You are doing what you've been called to do. You're stepping up. You're taking responsibility in multiple different areas of life. You're owning your, your power is what it feels like, really owning your power. And that stability and security is providing so much more. Underneath on the bottom, we have the king of wands. So I love that you have these counterparts. And I was kind of seeing that in like, if you're cooking this dinner and you've got all these pots that are over, that are boiling over, somebody steps in and helps you out. So this could be a counterpart, a partner, somebody who is very loyal to you, determined to help you out. It helps you to heal parts of you that may have felt 
betrayed in the past or like held on to pain from things that were a bit less stable and less secure or people that were less stable and less secure in this case it's not that and this person whoever they are really does have your back and if it's just spirit again they really have your back and they're protecting you okay let's get into your charms and letters i got a good feeling i got a good feeling here Group number one. Okay. So for group number one, in the month of November, November, what do they need to know? Oop. Okay. power like mega 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 powerful i didn't mean to put them all dropped right into the self but i think this is going to be this is going to be the month where you really you really own your power and step up in a big way group one okay so in the physical you have the sun and you had the sun card as well so it, the, the sun is shining on you i do feel i want to recommend and spirit is recommending again that you take some time out, but not just to like sit and, you know, do nothing. Maybe take some time to play this month as well, like intermediately or like intersperse in, into the work and the responsibility that you have. Inject some fun, some play, some time outside in the sun could be really helpful as well, literally outside in the sun, because it's going to help to replenish your energy. It's going to help to keep that, that flame lit within you so that you can use that energy to your advantage, because you're going to need a lot of energy this month. It's like you just got so much going on internally, externally, both. And um, the sun is going to help to replenish you. It's going to help to give you more of like a carefree feeling or take your worries away way when things get a little heavy sometimes this month um a little bit of back and forth there but i it, i really do see you having fun okay i really want to talk about this dragon so let's just go straight there the dragon big old dragon in the self kind of next to mental so you are feeling so strong so strong and like this is you you are the dragon you have the magic, you have the power, you have the stability and the security to defend what you're building as well. It's like you have the treasure or you've got access to the treasure. Look, here's the dragon again. So dragon symbolism is really big for you in the month of November. You could be working with the dragon spirits. Yeah, the dragon archetype as your protector. You've got the magic wand and the dragon is your protector. Approaching from the north, I just heard. Approaching from the north. That's interesting. Oh, and the king of wands, the way he's like pointing to the top of the map here. Something something about north and due north. Something about the direction you're taking is aligned. It could be to do with your north node. Uh, the dragon. Oh, yeah. The tail of the dragon is the south node. The head of the dragon is the north node. And this is in the mental, which is the head. Ooh, yes, you're aligning with your north node. This is connected to your purpose, your spiritual development, your destiny, your divine goals. I'm hearing divine goals, soul embodiment for sure. And your power, your purpose, your direction. It's all coming together. It's like everything is, I'm hearing the word commingling, but it's all coming together in November in a big way. In spiritual, you have the moon and the heart. I heard something revealed. Okay, so something's going to be revealed to you spiritually, possibly in dreams, could be to do with love, getting to the heart of a matter, loving to the moon and back, you know, it's something about relationships spiritually is going to be revealed to you, information revealed, I keep hearing that. So pay attention to signs, symbols, synchronicities, feelings, gut instincts, dreams, all of these things, daydreams even, they will give you information in the month of November. Again, I feel like you're juggling a lot or there's a lot coming in, but you're able to use that. You're able to alchemize that or you're able to, um, yeah, expand exponentially. Okay. In the emotional, you have the cat and the stars. Cat looking at the stars. 
I heard dream big. All right. And it's emotional. So you're being encouraged by spirit to dream big and to follow those dreams because it's guiding you in the right direction. It's your spiritual purpose and you're being sort of like pulled, pushed, driven in that direction. And I feel like your drive is going to be really on point in the month of November. Your drive to accomplish things, your drive to see your dreams come to fruition, your drive to actually put things on paper, I just heard as well. Something about putting something on paper, making something yours. You could be signing contracts, leases, forms. You could be starting something, making something official. Contracts could be involved here. And it's connected to something that you've emotionally set forth intention-wise in the past. Yeah, something that you dreamed about, something that you wished for something that you looked at for a long time and you kept it in your sight, they're also showing me the North Star. Again, the star in the middle. The North Star is like the most stable star that we use for navigation, right? So again, it's like your true north. Finding it, aligning to it, going after it. Full steam ahead, I just heard. Full steam ahead. So you're really going after what you want here. Um, ambition is, is, the, is the vibe. Okay, yes, you're very ambitious, Make sure you don't bite off more than you can chew, but I get the sense you're going to do really well here, group number one. Okay, we have in the self, what is this? Like a moon and a planet, Saturn and a star in the heart, blue heart. And you have, ooh, two clamshells. And the golden one is like extra, extra, extra value. This is like the treasure. This is the treasure that you're going after. I do feel like, there's self-development treasure here. I heard smoothing out the imperfections, okay? Streamlining something. Being able to get ahead, I just heard as well. And there's there's like wisdom, spiritual self-development wisdom. The goal, I just heard, the goal, something about lottery ticket, like you may feel like you've hit the jackpot. That, that you yourself are able to do something that you thought maybe wasn't possible or was just a dream, but you're making it come true because you've been putting in some hard work, Saturn there, making me feel like it's been you've been tested, there's been trials and tribulations, you've had a lot of responsibility put on your shoulders, but you are owning it, you're breaking free from some kind of constriction as well. Something took a lot of time, but you're perfecting it, you're building something up here. You also have the little red teddy bear, comfort, security. Yeah, I'm, I feel security really strongly. You have the anchor, so it does feel a lot like security, self-security. You're just feeling like you can really rely on yourself here. You have a little strawberry as well, fruits of your labors. You, it's self-built. I'm hearing self-made. Self-made, yeah, you're a self-made woman, self-made man. Own it. Everything that you've built has been off of your own shoulders is what it feels like. And yes, you have divine support. And yes, you have other people who are working through God or through the divine or through spirit to help you out. But ultimately, it's um, you've put in all the work here, group number one. You have the little green sparkly star. Feels like North Star energy. And it's green like the color of the heart. And you had the heart here too. So it does feel, and oh yeah, this one's in the heart. So your, your North Star is your heart. Your heart is guiding you forward. What you love to do, I just heard. What you love to do. And let me tell you, you know, I know you've heard this. It's cliche. It's a stereotype, but it's true. If you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. And I was mentioning the word work didn't feel quite right. It didn't have the right vibe or fit for this reading for you and your energy group number one in November. It feels so much more like play, like fun. And yes, there's responsibility to it. And yes, there's timing to it. And yes, you have to do a lot of work in the physical sense. But um, it's like you love it. <laughs> and you're, you're just, you're crushing it. You're really killing it this month. And um, you're going to be proud of yourself is what I feel. Okay, I, I do want to talk about this one before I go to the fl flamingo, the fl 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 <laughs> flamingo. You have a cobra, a little golden cobra. Spirit has been showing me synchronicities about cobras and mongoose or mongoose, whatever the plural is of them. And um, I wasn't really sure what that meant. It's coming up in your self position here with the charm. So it does feel something like maybe you're facing your greatest fear or 
you're able to protect yourself because mongoose, mongoose, <laughs> mongoose, it just sounds weird. They have protection from the inside. Like they um, have developed an anti-venom to cobra venom. And that's why mongoose, <laughs> I can't stop saying it. A mongoose will be able to attack a cobra and eat it. So it does feel to me like you're, I, I heard getting your, your just desserts or somebody's getting their just desserts, whatever that means. Somebody maybe um, that challenged you, I'm hearing the word fate. So something was fated or is fated in November and it's going to be shown to you or something is revealed. Again, they're bringing me back to loyalty, like snakes in the grass are revealed. Maybe even parts of yourself that were self-sabotaging, you're able to, it's like you've you've managed to alchemize it or transmute it to such a degree that now you have the anti-venom built into the system and so it can't harm you anymore and you keep pushing forward or you you overcome something that you once really feared and you don't have to fear it anymore. Mm-hmm. Massive growth, okay? You have the, what is, it's, it's, what color is that? I can't tell what color that is. I'm colorblind. And it's a flamingo. And it's reminding me of this. Look, the way the flamingo is standing on one leg. Temperance in this card is standing on one leg. I feel like you're going to be really in your element in November and Zen, like serenity, peace, alignment. It feels like, yeah, you're like, I got this. I got this. Look at me. I got this. I'm balanced. I'm stable. And I can do it on one leg with one arm tied behind my back, blindfolded, you know, don't push it, but like, <laughs> don't get cocky. Right. But you are doing really well. You're doing well. Now, these two, the reason I've left these to last, even though they weren't, they were kind of in the self, kind of in spiritual. And I want to talk about them separate because it feels like these are of some kind of significance. So you got this little sort of like warped butterfly and the rabbit. I can't tell if he's sleeping or just lying down or what. Right. Uh, the rest. Don't get yourself bent out of shape spiritually. Rest instead, because that's what's going to help you accomplish this goal. Again, same message from the main part of your reading and your significator image. Let's get into the letters. I'm liking this month for you. Okay, for group number one. In the month of November, my, something is going to be yours. I'm going to put these all upright. And if you want to take a screenshot or pause the video and kind of like look at the letters and find your own words, feel free to do that. F feel free to put what you find in the comments below as well, because I think that can help other people to see things as well. We're all messengers for each other, guiding each other home. Seek. Yeah. Yeah something you've been seeking. Ah, look, oh, ah, a realization, an epiphany. Rend. What is rend? I think that's like to, to render or to tear apart. I don't know. I, I was seeing it as like friend almost. Yes. Yeah, some, there's somebody here who, who's looking out for you, someone who's really loyal and determined to help you out when they see that the pressure is on, you know, it's like a coworker who sees that you're, you're really going above and beyond and they come and they, they, they like go behind your back, but in a good way to help you out, you know, or the angels are looking down on you and spirit is like, okay, you know what? So-and-so group number one here, they're doing a real good job. We're going to come in and, and like provide some additional support that they don't see. It feels like something's going on behind your back, but in a good way, <laughs> like, like um, unseen forces supporting you, protecting you, keeping you safe, guiding you, helping you out because they see how much you're doing. Okay, let's see. I am seeing the word break. Yeah, yeah, here you go. See confirmation that spirit really wants you to take a break this month because you're going to do a lot. Seen, 
you could be seen or or somebody, somebody could be seeing you, something that you've seen becomes relevant. Seeing the word um, or the name, I should say, Shane. Shanna. Shake. Shaken. Um, feels like you're a mover and shaker. I'm hearing the song. Uh, I feel the earth move under my feet. The sky tumbling down, tumbling down. Yeah, break. Uh, if, if if things start to kind of like rumble or you feel that earth moving under your feet and that stability or that security starts to shake, take a break. That will be one of your warning signs here, group number one. Like if, if things start to get a little bit, uh, you know, a little chaotic, a little bit too much, go have a nap, go lie down, go to the spa, take a break, take a personal day. Um, whatever you need to go outside, you know, whatever you need to do, because this is what's going to actually help you accomplish your goal. Because I feel like you're doing a lot and there's something that's going to be shared with you, something you're going to see, spirits sharing something with you, something that they've shared before is going to come into full view, I just heard as well. Sharon, <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> Something about breakfast is important as well. You know, get get like your meals in. Make sure that you have the energy. They're talking a lot about energy. That's break again, but I didn't even mean to do that. I meant to spell breakfast. A fast, a fast breakfast. Something that you deem important. What do you deem important? That may be where you have to make some big decisions. You might have to, you know, like um, prioritize, basically. Executive decisions, making some big decisions, some important calls this month. Maybe even literal, you know, phone calls, but, um, ooh, hang loose, you know, relax. <laughs> Surfer attitude, like, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> it's like there's two parts of you. There's like the laid back, hippie surfer vibe guy it, that's just like one archetype and then there's the business person who's like in their suit with their briefcase and they're like I got so much to do, to do and calls to make and it's like you've got these two parts of you that are both equally important I think this month and both of them have their place so let them both exist call on both of them or either one of them whatever you need and it's up to you as like the governing force to use your free will to choose which one you need in each, each moment when when is it time to get shit done and when is it time to relax and make sure you're balancing both of those okay group number one I think that is all that spirit wanted to bring through for you in the month of November if you felt called to any of the other groups check those out as well there could be additional messages on different areas of life topics or suggestions guidance from spirit and if you guys are looking for personal information I am offering order reading or video readings like this more personalized to you and your questions uh, and you can find that through the link to my website it's tarotandbeyond.com in the description box below thank you to all of my members who support the channel that way through your memberships the live streams last month were awesome so excited for the november live stream and thank you to um, anyone who has sent in donations or card decks or anything like that you guys all mean the world to me i see your support i see your comments i deeply deeply appreciate you and i love you and we'll see you in the next reading have a wonderful november may you be blessed bye all right hi group number two welcome to your reading for november you chose the keep exploring it's like a little plane ticket. It says boundless airlines. It's got some details about the trip, something about Sydney. I think it said 1030 on it. Um, I'm just going off of memory because it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's in the pictures. But yeah, so it feels to me, group number two, like you are going to be expanding or exploring new territory somewhere you've never been before you're in transit I just heard as well this month so you could be transiting into new areas literally physically I'm getting also something to do because I see planes synchronistically spirit will show me planes when you're like in transit to a different timeline or you're shifting timelines so you could be moving to an alternate timeline kind of like an alternate reality where 
things are a little bit different. They're pretty much the same, but they're a little bit different and they will be noticeable over time. Now, I am actually being drawn to the fact that Sydney, it says SYD, which I think is connected to Sydney. And I'm from Canada, which is at the like north, right? And that's Australia's way on the other side. So actually, this could be quite a different area or quite a different, like a big trip or a big timeline shift because you're kind of going from one pole to the other. You're going from one side of the equator to the other. And metaphorically speaking, this could be a little bit of a, uh, there could be like culture shock or energy kind of transition that really, uh, it feels, it doesn't necessarily feel intense, like when I'm tuning into it energetically, it just feels different, okay? And it's not like good or bad different, it's just different. And they're showing me toilets flushing in reverse. <laughs> yeah, so it's like something is different than what you're used to, but it's not a bad thing. Now, when I was pre-shuffling your cards, we're going to do tarot, oracle, charms, and letters today to go, uh, get a lot of detail for you in the month of November, what's coming, what's going, what's what's here, what's there. Yeah, you could be like back and forth. Or there's something about transit. And as I was pre-shuffling, uh, this one card fell out and they told me not to put it back in. Okay, it's the eight of swords. I did just see two, two, two on the recording time. Eight of swords. We're going to put this back in. But I feel like you're changing your mindset in the month of November. This could be where the transit is, is taking place. You're, you're changing your mindset. Oh, yeah, we're going to start. No, not with this deck. I meant to go in with the coffee cup oracle first. And then we'll do the witch, the everyday witch tarot. So you may feel a little bit like out of sorts or discombobulated. I'm just noticing in your reading, like in the energy of your reading group number two, I'm feeling a little bit more out of sorts and kind of all over the place, which is interesting because in group number one, it was not that way. Things were really flowing smoothly, even though their message was actually one of like juggling multiple things. So it's kind of like ironic that it's like different this way now. You may have some messages in group number one or you may have come from group number one because I just mentioned it in like kind of contrast and compare style, but this card did come up in their reading. Stability and security, the anchor. Okay, so group number two. In November, it's kind of like you're anchoring to a new timeline and the transition can be a little disharm disharmonious. Actually, the word that um, is used is dissonance, like the dissonance phase, where you go into, you're kind of like in limbo, in bardo. You're, you're not in the old timeline, but you're not fully anchored into the new one either. And so there's like a transition point that can feel a little uncomfortable. It's like you got one foot in one and one foot in the other. And I also feel like you're going to be throughout the month of November, anchoring into the new experience or into the new place. And that energetic space is going to feel vastly different to what you're used to. And so it can be a little uncomfortable, but ultimately you're going to find your place. Cunning, stealth, and the wolf. The wolf spirit has been coming up in synchronicities leading up to this reading, like for the past two, three days, and then even like the weeks before that, the wolf kept coming up. I wrote it down in my synchronicities journal several times. So there's something about this wildness. It does feel like freedom. That eight of swords feels like uh, the, the, the restriction or the mental limitations that you're transcending or breaking free from. You could be physically traveling or breaking free from some kind of physical limitations or restrictions too. Take it how it resonates. It's, it could even be both. But it feels to me like... Yeah, it, it's like a, a major transition let's get more information because that's really the, the strongest strongest sense that i'm getting Ooh, wife engagement bride i heard pieces what pieces pieces coming together pieces falling apart some pieces are coming apart some are coming together cat jealousy and gossip hmm what is this about 
555. Yeah, 555 I just saw on the recording time, and that is a code about transition, changes, major changes, and can denote travel, movement. Something in the month of November is breaking down or falling apart so that something new can take its place something that's more aligned and this is this is what is happening with the timelines you're you're pulling your foot out of one and putting your stamp your energetic signature your anchor point into the other one it's a little difficult okay and there may be yeah i'll just say it there may be some uh behind the scenes energy that opposes this in one way, shape, or form. It could be, you know, evil eye. It could be negative interference energetically. It could be something else going on. But there's something there that it does not approve of this change, doesn't want you to make this move, doesn't want you to level up in this way or to change the direction in some massive way. But you're, you're doing it anyway and you're meant to do it. The high priestess. Wow. Especially with the cat, which is such a sensitive um, Hecate could be or Hecate could be significant here as well. She's been coming up the last 24 hours, I've noticed, synchronistically. And the moon, you know, the the wolf howling at the moon. It's there's something that's hidden here. There's something behind the scenes that you're not seeing. But in the month of November, I get the sense that you're gonna be tuning into the energy of it. And you're going to be engaging with that. Yeah, the cat again here. Something's trying to influence the, res the results you get or s the way you see something. Because that alters the timeline. But you are seeing the truth. And you're anchoring in your stability this month. So that you can find your way forward. You can create a way forward here. King of Swords. Yeah, something's trying to interfere with how you see or receive information. So, uh, or how you transmit, you could be communicating the wolf howling, right? Calling out to its mate or to its kin. There's something about you being able to receive and transmit information unfiltered is what they're showing me without interference. So finding your stability and your security is going to help you do that, especially spiritually, because this feels like a little bit more of a spiritual take on the month of November for you, group number two. I think we'll get some information at the physical level on what's going on or what to expect, but I'm seeing a lot here. This is like more of an esoteric, high level spiritual message, because this is a big, this is a big spiritual transition that you're going through. Two of Wands. All right. You're changing direction. And you're doing it in a way that people didn't expect or couldn't have predicted. I'm getting this message of like, it comes out of left field a little bit. A decision that you make or a pivot that you've taken or some, something you do either leading up to or throughout the month of November, at some point, you, you just shift and it takes people a little by surprise. It catches someone off guard or people off guard. Some kind of opposition is caught off guard, which is, I think, a good thing, right? Keep them guessing. <laughs> keep, them, keep them on their toes. Don't let them know your next move, that kind of thing. And trust your intuition because it's guiding you through this whole process. Knight of Pentacles. I see you taking off. You're about to take flight. Prepare yourself, I just heard. Prepare yourself, group number two, because you're about to take flight and it's gonna be it's gonna be a physical shift. So yes, we're talking about this spiritual transition, we're talking about timelines, but uh, yes, that does have physical implications. And I'm seeing you, again, taking off, making liftoff, I'm hearing, making liftoff. Off you go, up you go, upwards and onwards. 
and finding that anchor point, that stability, that um, that vibrational resonance with the new timeline, and really, you know, they keep showing me you putting your stamp there, really creating a link, a stability, um, yeah, like a an anchor point that you can move into that seamlessly. Nine of Cups, okay, eleven, eleven. As I held it up, all right. So here's the key. Here's the anchor point. Here's here's the uh, the coding I just heard, <laughs> the coding to get you there. Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Charitability. Wish it. Wish it into being. Gratitude. Being in this high vibrational frequency. This is what's causing you to lift off, especially in the face of any kind of jealousy, gossip, or opposition. Any of these subtle forces that seem to be working against you from the inside or the outside or both. Face it with your own peace. Like there's something about your vibration that is fundamentally shifting this month and you're going to feel it before you see it, but you're going to see it as a result of feeling it. Does that make sense? And I'm seeing something being offered, you know, they, just two, two people are holding something up here. So something's going to be offered to you, something that you wished for, you dreamed of, something you tried to manifest something you desired. And it, it, this is why is because this wish that you've sent out or this vibration that you've held this desire within you is a vibrational match to this new timeline that you're going to and you've done some kind of a physical effort, you've taken some actions here to get you there. Maybe you learned something or you, you've been working with the divine very directly is actually what they're telling me you've been working with the divine directly to get you here to this point of transition. Don't let the opposition hold you back. Don't let anybody naysay. Don't let anybody talk you out of it, okay? Don't let anybody pull you out of your peace because you are meant to transition, okay? You're meant to move into that higher timeline that's aligned with your wishes, wish fulfillment, your desires. That point of peace is meant to expand. It's meant to become bigger and it's meant to be the anchor, the stability point that gets you into and fully on that new trajectory. Okay, so don't let any <laughs> negative airport security hold you back. You know, you're meant to be on that plane. You got you to gotta put your butt in the seat. And the way to do that, you get through security on all those checks metaphorically by being in that, that peaceful center. That's what's going to get you through it seamlessly. Yeah, they keep saying something's going to be offered to you. I'm not sure what is going to be offered to you here at group number two, but we're going to find out more information. So something's being offered to you. Take it or don't take it. It's up to you. Let's get some charms. Let's see. For group number two, what do we need to know? What do they need to know for the month of November? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you have the sun in the physical. It's a different sun than group number one, but they had the sun in the physical as well, like right here. So if you watch that reading, this is special confirmation for you. And it's in conjunction to what that reading was talking about. All right. Let's actually start in the spiritual. Usually I start in the physical and go around. Let's do it the opposite way. So something about, yeah, the spiritual is kind of like the fundamental anchor point this month for you, group number two. There's not much up there other than this, which is the lotus with the ohm symbol, then one of the most spiritual symbols, right? One of the most spiritual charms, I should say. I'm going to put it right at the top. Crown chakra. Yes. Uh, so it's something that you are doing spiritually this month, meditation, some kind of connection, some kind of emotional, mental, spiritual clearing or healing that you've done in the past, lately. like October, I feel like you went through pretty big um, transformation here, group number two. Let me know what that was, because there's something they're showing me in October that was like a catalyst for you. You went through a pretty major transformation. It may have felt even like a bit chaotic or painful. Or um, there was like trials and tribulations that they're showing me that you had to face. In November, you're getting the result of, of what that was 
teaching you. I'm hearing something about it. it was teaching you, teaching you how to become a spiritual master, to master the use of spiritual knowledge, which is something here to do with energy, vibration, resonance, consciousness, free will, intention, and timelines. It's all connected here. This is, this is probably stuff you've been working on, whether you've been aware of it or not. But I think for most of you who are here on my channel, you are aware of it because we talk about it a lot here. And um, that's, that's one of the reasons why I do this work is to bring this to more collective conscious awareness. So it feels like in November, you're getting ahead in a big way. They're showing me you winning a race, um, beating, again, the opposition. It's like those things, those negative energies that were trying to hold you back. You're beating them. You're getting to where you need to go. You're moving faster than them because you're vibrating higher. You're physically vibrating higher. Your energetic resonance is much faster. And this is fantastic. This is so amazing, group number two, because they, like the negative energy can't catch you. It can't, it's not fast enough. It's moving too slow. It's lagging behind. And on this new timeline, you are moving so much faster and they, it, it, they can't get you when, you in the, when you're in the air, okay? Like, even my speech is moving too fast for my mouth. Like my brain's moving too fast for my, my mouth right now. That's why I'm stumbling over my words. And uh, it's a good thing. Don't let them slow you down. Emotional. In the self and the bridge between the self and the emotional, you have the angel wing and then you have the pearl, value, wisdom, something, yes, this pearl of wisdom is protected. They're showing me like angel wings enveloping you, keeping you safe, keeping you, the self, safe through this transition to great value, to great effect. Again, wow, look at this, this negative energy the evil eye energy was around you. It was piercing. It was trying to get at you. It was trying to use your emotions against you. Maybe emotions of fear or doubt. I just heard lack, something about lack. Forcing you to look at what you lacked and saying, oh, it's not possible. But uh, you chose to persevere. You chose to overcome that. You chose to listen to the spiritual wisdom rather than that doubt or that fear. Yeah, they're saying the word alchemy. You, you've been doing some alchemy here. You also have this little bow tie. Ooh, didn't you have the wife card? And this reminds me of the groom, the wife and groom. Maybe this is like some kind of a spiritual marriage, a connection. That's very important. Something of great value. Could be about commitment as well. Emotional. It's in the emotional realm. So it does feel like there's some kind of great love here. And it's not being it's not being interfered with because you're getting ahead, aligning to that timeline, to that person, to that commitment, whatever it is. And then you have the cat with the spring flowers, cherry blossoms. I heard April, May, and June. April, May, and June. Emotionally. They're showing me like a projection into the future. Ooh, yes, you're you're definitely mastering some kind of like timeline transition effect here and not just moving into this timeline in November, but like projecting all the way out into the spring. Um, something about the second quarter, I just heard second quarter, two quarters. What is this measurement of time or coins? Because they're showing me two quarters like the coins. 25 cents each, 50 cents. I'm not sure what that's referring to. They're showing me them putting putting 50 cents or two quarters into a gumball machine, getting something out of that. What you put in, what you get out, something about that. And you don't know what color the gumball is going to be, but you want the gumball either way. So there's something about like, investing in something not knowing what's going to come from it maybe that's this nine of cups energy it's like i'm i have this i have this wish i have this desire i want that gumball i don't know which one i'm going to get but i have this quarter and i'm going to use it to see they're showing me the black gumball i think that one's like the black ones and the white ones were like the rarest ones There's something about black and white 
bride and groom again yin and yang yeah the black the groom wears black the bride wears white there's something about black and white maybe this was like the thinking too, black and white thinking getting out of those cognitive distortions and how they were emotionally affecting or, or influencing your frequency something about the spring is going to be significant okay in the physical you've got well you've got that sun that we talked about already and then we have the white rose in the heart okay there's something sacred in the physical i'm seeing like sacred rite of passage or a sacred ritual of some kind and that's why i think they brought up marriage here in your reading it doesn't have to be literal but there's something of a sacred rite of passage that you are going through in november or that you will be witnessing i just saw you're going to be witnessing you're watching something you're seeing something it's aligning you to that frequency um, or it, you've something you've seen before aligning you to that frequency putting you in alignment with that which you desire i'm hearing a heartfelt wish comes true yeah i just heard that and they pointed me to the the rose in the heart and the nine of cups is about a heartfelt wish come true cancer season could be significant there was a little crab on the card there and um i think that's in june yeah and they said april may june okay so something about the the like way far future here is being brought up all right physical growth as well i'm seeing happy times ahead i just heard good 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 i'm happy to report that mentally you have this tree a little winding tree growing out in all directions and curling around it feels like new neural pathways pruning the tree of any negative thoughts that were negatively influencing your emotions and your vibration being able to grow the tree in the directions that you want it to go yeah removing some attachments here mentally you've got the starfish the white starfish can talk about regeneration so you could be doing some mental healing that's pretty profound and significant this month group number two like literally they're showing me synapses firing in new ways so you're thinking differently new neural pathways regenerating neural pathways healing your brain like literally healing your brain wow this is cool yeah self-work here we're going to talk about that but you're healing your brain in some way something from childhood could have been significant healing a memory from childhood Ooh, because you unlock the key and this little key knob almost looks like a rattle yeah something you you understand the key to something from childhood that disturbed your security like your attachment style the way that your brain functioned the way that you think about things your ability to trust something about union mm -hmm. oh you i just noticed you have two of these lots of spiritual value okay 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 riches riches that's that's like really loudly i heard riches riches in the spiritual realm it's kind of between spiritual and mental almost in the self something is really shining here for you group two i i can't quite tell what it is but it's something you really really value might even be an aspect of yourself or something you really wanted since you were young that's a message that keeps coming up synchronistically in the readings the last couple of weeks they've been bringing through this message a lot spirit about um something that you've wanted from childhood coming to fruition or manifesting physically something a deep desire a wish a dream something heartfelt that came right from the core of your being that was meant for you that's coming to you or that's being created coming back to you i just heard as well okay and then in the self you've got the caulking gun some some kind of self work that you've done or that you're doing in the month of november is significant oh they just pointed me to the spring again okay something you did in the spring what were you doing in the spring in those months that we mentioned 
what were you doing emotionally or mentally then? Because there's something that was seeded then or something that you did then that's having a positive effect, shoring up the leaks I'm hearing in the self, emotionally, mentally. It's like there's just so much healing that I'm seeing here and it's all coming, it's all coming together and, and it's manifesting for you. Okay, let's get letters because I'm curious about like how, how is this going to manifest for you? Because so far it feels more like spiritual to me. But we know that the spiritual creates the physical and the physical has an impact on the spiritual. They're so interconnected. So let's see, for group number two in the month of November, O and L, low. I'm going to put these upright and then if you want to, OT, if you want to um, pause or screenshot or anything like that to find your own words, feel free to do that. And if you want to add them in the comments below, that can help other people out to see things that they may need to see as well. It's just a fun game to do as well. Like, I don't know, I like it. Uh, and then I'll go in and I'll look at what I can see as well. So if you want to do that now. Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing is actually the word tear. Could also be read as tear. Oh yeah, weren't they telling me something about something breaking down and then something coming back together? Something that you've shed a tear over. Yeah, I'm seeing the word refine. Something's being refined. Whoops. Where's the E there? Refinery. I don't know. Going to the loo. <laughs> releasing something. Tar. Oh yeah, releasing some deep density here. The, the toilet can talk about purging. Release. Release energetically and emotionally, specifically. And we did see that. Con. Yeah, somebody tried to trick you or to devalue something, but you've refined your own technique. I'm hearing something about refining your technique. Loot. Spiritual loot. You did have two of those, um, two of the pearls. So yeah, I think that you are finding this value, this deep, deep spiritual value. Something about convince. Ooh, convict. <laughs> Somebody could be held accountable for their negative energy directed towards you. Or they could have tried to convince you not to trust yourself, referee, but you're you're stepping in, interfering, or God stepped in and, and played the referee and enforced the rules and said, no, you are deserving of the loot that you have divinely manifested. Something about, yeah, something about a con artist or somebody, like there's there was some kind of negative inf information or influence here vine uh through the grapevine maybe somebody that you know through someone else or something that you were connected to since childhood hmm i'm hearing refer i'm seeing refer that's not i think there's another f but anyway it's it's like a referral or a reference a reference point that could be like a point in time a reference to the past maybe you're being referred by someone or someone is referring you to someone else because there's a negative influence and you're being told to go in a different direction tool okay reversing that tool something about um using the right tools to get the right effect right like the cock and gun in the self you're you, you're finding the tools that give you the right effect so this could be like a, a self-development tool of some kind. They're showing me a book, but this could even be something about like mental healing because we were seeing that new synapses, new neurons, new new ways of thinking, new vibration, new spiritual embodiment, spiritual, physical, whatever kind of tools that are going to help you to get out of um, a situation or a mindset that was convincing you of something negative and preventing the fruition of these wishes, but you're getting free. Hmm. You are free. I just heard R again. You are free. Something about fair, like airfare, you know, uh, the fare that you pay to buy the ticket. You've paid it. 
Mm. You've paid it. Not. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> Something someone did, a nod, ooh, something someone did was not cool. And you're getting the nod. A VIN number could be significant, like an identifying sequence of numbers. Hmm. Yeah, somebody was trying to, like, lure you away from your destiny or lure you away from that higher timeline i'm he hearing the word dissuade like they were trying to dissuade you either it was your own thoughts like negative patterns of thinking that were trying to dissuade you or past experiences that were traumatizing i'm hearing the word traumatizing so something from childhood it doesn't have to be but like it, that came up right in the charms so it was trying to lure you away and uh, you're like, no, no, <laughs> no, because I see it clearly now and I've paid this fare and I deserve to be on the plane and I'm going. Don your cap and gown, I just heard. Graduating. I hit the crystal ball. Graduating. And it's being foretold. You had the high priestess with the crystal ball. So something about a prediction. I mean, this is a predictive type video, but um, maybe this is something that you even predicted. Hmm. Seeing the word rare. And flood. And I'm seeing convince again, like in these words. Okay, so... Rare. Maybe you had to, you had to like flood the system in a way that was very unique to you, emotionally or energetically, mentally, mentally, flood the system with positive thoughts, peace, they're saying again, peace, to be able to overcome whatever this negative influence was that was trying to stop you in your tracks or trying to keep you limited on the old timeline with the old set of circumstances, with the old possibilities, and not see your dreams come to fruition in a really physical way because if, if they could keep you in the old mindset and the old way of being, then it would keep your vibration low and you wouldn't be able to ascend. You wouldn't be able to, to take that flight or transition into that new, they're saying property, ooh, new property, new home. Or is this just like metaphor for the new timeline? Because you're in the same physical place, but you're in a completely different reality, <laughs> you know, so to speak, energetically. Because you're in a new, you're embodying a completely different vibration. And what becomes possible to you expands in a huge way because you're not limited by some of those constricting factors from the past. The mindset, they said something about the mindset. Maybe convince, convince yourself that something that is rare can be achieved. Like your hopes and dreams can come to fruition. Flood yourself with that. Because it raises your vibration. I, hear, I heard uh, stay in gratitude. Because that's a very high vibration as well. We're eventually going to be doing a reading on gratitude as well. Or what to be grateful for. How to embody that to make these things come to fruition. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. But yeah, group number two. I feel like November is going to be really deeply spiritually profound for you and you're going to be seeing some big shifts and changes take place and I do feel like you're overcoming something quite large here. You're graduating from something or healing something quite profound that was limiting you to some degree or it was being used against you from kind of behind the scenes or even internally subconsciously the shadow self and you're overcoming that to such a degree that the vibration shifts and changes and you get on that flight that that I'm hearing first class okay you're getting on that first class flight to the new property the new home that you are destined to be in and to build upon so that you can really live this life of your dreams and it's your destiny so that is what I have for you in the month of November I hope this reading was helpful and that it resonates with you something about the letter e they just said okay <laughs> 
something about the letter E could be significant to someone. They just, they, they stopped me mid outro and were like, the letter E. <laughs> okay. What is this? Sesame Street? Word association. The letter E. Eggs. I don't know. All right. So group number two, I will leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful November. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, I do have those on offer. They're video style readings like this that you can that you can uh, order through my website, which is linked in the description box below. It's tarotandbeyond.com. And if you feel drawn to any of the other readings in this overall reading today, feel free to check those out as well for more maybe physical or tangible aspects of whatever this is that's going on in the month of November for you. Okay, guys, much love, many blessings, so much gratitude to you all, especially the members and people who have sent in donations, support, positive comments, likes, shares, all that good stuff. I love you guys, and we'll see you in the next reading. Bye. All right. Hi, group number three. Welcome to your reading for November. All right. You guys chose the detour signpost. Okay. So it's talking about, it's okay to take detours. You might be rerouted this month, or you might have some options on the direction you could go. And it's going to be up to you. Do you want to take the scenic route or do you want to take the fast route? Either way, you're going to get to your destination or to your goal or wherever you're trying to go, but it's the path that suits you best, which is the direction that you should take. So that's initially what I'm getting. And they want to say they really it's like spirit is really emphasizing the fact that it's up to you. So there's no wrong choice here. It's it's just really up to you. It's it's kind of like what you want out of this. Do you want to enjoy the ride? Do you want to take your time? Do you want to see what you can experience in this detour? Or do you want to go straight for what you want? And but it's kind of like a little bit monotonous or maybe boring in the process of doing that. You know, it's like taking the highway versus taking the back roads. So it's totally up to you. It's what you prefer. But let's get some details about what this is in the month of November, why this is coming up, why you've been drawn to this particular reading out of all the groups. So we're going to start with some Oracle. We're going to get into tarot and we also have charms and letters. So we're going to get lots of detail. What is going on for group number three? in the month of November. Something about taking your time. Okay, we have the rabbit with pregnancy and fears. Pregnancy and fears. Something about being deferred or having to have patience because something has been taking a long time. Control and change with the teeth, wow. Yeah, something is like, I'm hearing interjection, like there's something intervening or there's something that's coming in you didn't expect in the month of November. And this may be why you come up against something and you have to make a decision about which direction you want to go. Crown, success and pride. I see a lot of value here. Fertility gold, the crown with success. I see a lot of positive things. I think that, again, you're going to get to the goal either way. You're getting to the destination either way. It's just kind of how how it's going to unfold. Ooh, old man, inheritance, male. Something about an inheritance, like something in the line, you know, pregnancy, inheritance, success. Hmm. What is going on here for you, group number three? Let's get some tarot cards. Five of cups. Okay. It feels like there's something that happens in November group number three that is divine intervention. And you may initially be disappointed or I'm hearing caught off guard. You're caught off guard a little bit. It's hmm, some kind of an expectation is let down or something you thought is not, it doesn't turn out to be what you thought, but you're not meant to control it. You're meant to kind of go with it. The hanged man. Hmm. I w yeah, I was getting something about kind of like 
taking your time. And it was interesting because I got that message right before the rabbit came out and the rabbit and, you know, like the hare and the tortoise or whatever. Sometimes if you go too fast, it actually, you don't win. So, so perhaps taking the scenic route is actually preferred. Again, it's up to you, but I would say with this energy in the month of November, if you take a slower approach to something, you're actually going to be better off because there's something that's going on sort of beyond your control that may be redirecting you, setting you on a different path. Wow. Five of pentacles, two fives in your reading. It, it does feel like there's something changing big time in the month of November and you can't necessarily control it. But I do see that it's going to be leading you to something that you do want, even though it may present in initially as something that you have to grieve or a, a, a disappointment, a loss even. Yeah, an outright loss of some kind is actually going to lead you to a new opportunity or to a benefit of some kind. It's like a blessing in disguise. So what is this? The emperor it could have something to do with your father a father figure, an authority figure, a boss. Somebody who's in control of the money. Somebody who who disperses the money. Yeah. Hmm. The leader of a pride. Somebody who's in a position of authority. Whoever this is, there's... Um, hmm. There's something that they're saying or doing that's going to influence your decision here. What is going on? Six of Swords. I think you need to, in November, pursue what feels right for you. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. They keep showing me the homes as well, like the home here and the home here. So something about the home security, this could even be a landlord, some kind of an authority figure, somebody who has, who owns something or who has the power to give or to take away, I'm hearing. Hmm. Okay. There's a benefit here that you're not seeing. It's like she's crying over these spilled cups, but there's still cups here on the table. And there's a picnic basket underneath, with, which maybe she doesn't see. So I feel group number three that in the month of November, you're going to maybe think that you've lost something or that the rug was pulled out from under your feet, but you're actually going to get a benefit from that. There's something that's given in place of what was taken away that ultimately suits you better. And it may redirect you, like maybe you have to unexpectedly move homes or you have to go and travel somewhere that you weren't planning to because there's a loss in the family. Now, this is not a prediction, but this is it, it, I, I am kind of seeing some of those bits and pieces. Like let's say your uncle passes away or um, you know, father or something like that, and you have to go and travel to deal with some of the, you know, the physical aspects of that. Splitting up a home, I just heard something about splitting up a home. And you may feel like this is, oh God, why do I have to do this? Or why do I have to be faced with this big, these big decisions about how to proceed with something? But I really feel like Again, whichever path you take, whichever road you choose to go on, even if you're being redirected and like the road that you had planned to go on is closed down and you have to take the detour and there's no other option and you can't control it, even if that is the case, ultimately you will still get to the destination and you can bank on that, I just heard. So something about money is important here because you had that, that uh, ooh, the ace and what's underneath that is the four of pentacles. So you can bank, you can take that to the bank, okay? No matter what direction or how redirected you are in the month of November, you will get what's yours. Yes, you will get what's yours. So do what you can, but let go of what you can't, okay? And it, the, this month, because it does feel a little bit like you you might want to like really glom onto that sense of control and try to be like, okay, I'm I am in control of this. But when the road closes down and you have to take a detour, there's nothing you can do about it. And so, what you can control in that moment is your approach and how you 
how easily you flow or move with the changes is kind of what they're showing me. That's actually going to lead to some kind of income or a benefit of some kind. So let's see your charms for the month of November. What's going on for group number three in the month of November, Spirit? What do they need to know here? I feel like a lot for you, like a lot of charms. <laughs> okay. Let me just organize these real quick. All right. Let's see. Let's start in the emotional. You've got this little cloud, but he's a happy cloud. So it's like, I don't think that you're going to be too upset about whatever's going on. Like if there is grief, if there is loss, if there is this feeling of like, oh God, I have to make some big changes or there's something outside my control that's happening. I don't really feel like you're going to be upset about it. Maybe you see the silver lining right away. I am hearing something about cloud nine. So it could even be a positive change. And that energy of grief or loss or lack of control could be something that happened in the past, like it already happened and you're past it now. You were redirected and now you're seeing where the redirection was guiding you or the reason why you were redirected in the first place. You're getting some kind of um, awareness of that, I think, like a higher mindset. The clouds making me think of like, again, um, adaptability or being able to go with the flow let the wind take you where it wants to take you. Don't resist it. Go happily, I'm hearing. But it's also reminding me of like a higher perspective because clouds are high up in the sky. So, and when they descend, it can be foggy. You don't know which direction to go. So either way, keep your wits about you, I want to say, in the month of November, group number two, because there's there's something here that you're not seeing yet, but um, the path will reveal it. That's what it feels like. In the physical, you have this eye with the hole in the middle. I saw 11.11 as I held that up on the recording time. And you have this pearl in the clamshell. So physically, there's something you're going to be seeing a value. Or you're seeing value come in. Again, the inheritance card was there. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. There's something you're going to be taking to the bank physically. Something that you're actually seeing manifest. Value, 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 they're saying. Okay, so I think you're going to be happy about that. You're going to be happy about that. It may just come on the heels of a disappointment or a redirection. Whether or not that happens actually in the month of November, I think is going to be different for each one of you. But I do feel like there's a redirection. It's not in your control. You have a choice in how you move through that. Maybe you have a choice in which direction, but still, like, it feels like, oh, I've only got these two options or, oh, I've only got this one option. Well, you still have control or how, over how you can move through it. And that's what unlocks, because you got the key here as well, unlocks this value. They keep saying physical value. It is in the physical. So some, some kind of money coming in this month. And um, it's unlocked through the mentality the approach that you're taking. I'm seeing gratitude being significant because you have this little flower and it reminds me of an offer of being grateful. Like, thank you for doing this. Let me bring you flowers or even like a condolence thing. F flowers being thrown at your feet. There's something, something unlocked offered to you. Now these two are on top of each other. What is this? You've got the dragon and the lotus. It was upside down on top of it though. So I will take that into account. Hmm. The dragon and the lotus upside down in the mental makes me feel like you might not feel like you're in a position of power to do something or something's not clear mentally. But you are finding the key and something is protected here. You may just have to slow down though, because I do, I see this, uh, the shell in the jar. It's kind of like it's in stasis and it reminds me 
of the hanged man energy, which you did have in the cards. So something about like taking a moment to be still because there's something maybe you didn't see. And when you do see it, I'm hearing something about accountability. You receive that value from it. Spiritually, you have the star, rocking horse, this little jar. It's like strawberries in a jar. Something sweet. Something good. The heart and moon. What's this one? Oh yeah, this is the one that I always have a hard time reading because I don't I don't know why. It's like the way that it's spelled or <laughs> the loopy letters. I don't know. There's something about this that always stumps me. So I do feel like there's something that you're confused about. You're not you're not seeing it full fully all the way clearly this month, group two. And that's okay because there is a purpose to it. There is a purpose to it. Hmm. Never, never give up. You're being guided. Love and beloved. You're being guided. And they want you to be happy about it. But it, it feels like even if something good is happening, it some for some reason it feels like a challenge this okay you have the hammer and it's between spiritual and self something i think you're going to hit the nail on the head with something something to do with value is cracking open there they actually just showed me an oyster that was like really really tight shut you hitting it with the hammer opening it up and finding a pearl so i think you're going to discover something in the self that leads to a lot of value here in the month of November, but it's like you have to split something apart to find it. Look, you have one, two, three pearls. It's like one after another. Spiritual boons, spiritual wishes, value coming through. It's like, okay, two in the self, one in the physical. So things that you're opening up and unlocking within yourself could be to do with things that happened in the past related to grief that were confusing and that were stuck in stasis mentally, emotionally, but you're getting clarity on it. You're clearing it up. The fog is lifting. I just heard. Okay. I've got this little mandala flower thing. Yeah. Another one of those. The big dragon. This one came out a couple of times now. Each, I think every single group has gotten a dragon. You actually had, or maybe not group two, but you had two dragons here and the big one in the self. Power. I heard ownership. Okay, so something, you're inheriting something. Tools. Ooh. The self. Oh, you're fixing something here. Something that was really stuck and not working. It wouldn't open. It wouldn't open. There was something in you that wouldn't open and you're seeing it. But this was upside down as well. The eye was upside down. And guess what else is upside down? The hanged man. You have to see something in this upside down position. Seeing something that really, really stumped you or that kept you stuck for a long time, feeling like you couldn't have what you wanted grief i'm hearing okay so grief stuck around for a long time and held you back you may have clammed up because of it afraid to get hurt again but there's some sweetness coming in or the juice is coming back or there's a new opportunity here on this detour that you didn't expect spirit wants you to know don't give up because there's something here that you're meant to discover you're meant to find it it's meant for you it's like an inheritance right like it's meant for you it goes to you automatically 
It has to. It's almost like that inheritance has been chasing you. Because you've been on this detour, it had to like, they're showing me like a, a, a letter carrier with a telegram that's meant for you that tells you about this inheritance, but you were like off on some detour trying to figure something out or find something and something about a scavenger hunt and this person had to like find you or hunt you down <laughs> to give you this information or this inheritance or this money or something and it's like you're elated I'm hearing the word elated at finding out what was yours but I'm also getting an energy of like feeling blue is actually what the what spirit just said feeling blue so something about feeling blue feeling down feeling sad versus feeling elated maybe these are the two options maybe that's the split either way it's going to get you where you need to go but you have a choice in which direction or which the, the way that you look at it you know that that image of the person sitting in the there's two people sitting on the bus one person's looking out the side of the window that has the brick wall on it and the other person's looking out the side that has this beautiful sunset and it's meant to represent like the way you look at things can change how you experience the journey so something about that is significant let's get into letters the way that you look at something here is significant to how like to the experience that you have and then the results that you get something about memories formed i just heard okay so what else does group number three need to know here for the month of November? I'm going to straighten them all out, put them upright. Something about upright and reverse or upside down again. But um, I'm going to put them upright and then you guys can like take a screenshot or um, pause the video if you want to find some words for yourself and you can put those in the comments below to help other people out to see certain things. And then I'm going to go in and see what I can see. Something about New Year's Eve could be significant. New Year's Eve. Aw, something cute. Yeah, I'm seeing like, whoa, like, woe is me. They keep saying like, don't give up hope. So there could be something unexpected that's like, not ideal, but it's because it, it, it is a detour that you didn't want, but it's happening for a reason. Hmm. I want to say like queen, but we don't have an N. Okay. Mm, we don't have an R. I was seeing near. Near or far. <laughs> Yeet. We don't have a T. So there's some, like, we're, I'm noticing even just like the pattern in finding the words is that we're missing certain letters that I'm seeing the words for. So it's like, there's something missing. Maybe that's what you're grieving. Or maybe there's something taken away or lacking. And that's, that's what is actually the main theme of November that you're looking at here. But I do see you, um, yeah, I see you like getting through it or wading through it. Something about Wade. I just saw two, 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 two. Wade, that could even be a name, but I see you like wading through it, finding your way out. Something about clarity. Cows could be significant somehow. You know, spirit will use like little synchronicities to guide you on your path. And sometimes they're super random. Yeah, I keep seeing Eve, like New Year's Eve, something Eve, like the Eve of something. Day. Day and night. You could feel like something goes from day to night or night to day. Something is like night and day, yeah. Because they keep showing me this, okay, maybe it's like as above, so below, light and dark, because there's something about day and night. There was like the clouds in the sky versus the clouds on the ground turning, like being fog. S something about the eve. Hmm. Hmm. I'm saying hmm a lot in your reading, <laughs> group number three. This one's a, this one's a thinker. And I think uh, that's what November 
is going to challenge you with is like you you really have to kind of think about these things or you have to wade through some of the circumstances or challenges or experiences there's a lot of value to be had though you're getting something really really personally valuable to you in the month of November and you're going to see that you're going to see it actually physically show up for you so like keep your sights set on that or keep that in your mindset because yeah the way it comes in may be unexpected yeah the way you're going to be shown the way on a particular day or time a deck a deck of cards the hand you've been dealt it's like you can't control that but you can control how you play it hmm queen in in like the in like actual cards something about that like pulling a queen did we have any queens in your no the emperor that's masculine energy something about queens though is significant queens new york huh that makes me think of traffic you know you like you have to take i just heard take 75th i don't i don't even know i've never been to new york i don't know but there's something about like the traffic is backed up you have to take an alternate route but it's your choice to do that and it's going to work out better for you even if you have to grieve what could never have been you're being guided to where you need to be does that make sense and it's going to lead to a lot of what you want okay um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, you're going to have some, some decisions to make or you're going to yeah be like tallying through things. Okay. All right. I think I'll leave it there. Groove number three, because this feels like it was super sort of abstract, but I hope that these clues or these cues were helpful for you in the month of November. Maybe come back at the end of the month and see how things shaked out or shook out, I should say, or shaped up. Something about that that could be significant as well. You, there could, you could be going through a shakeup that actually works out because that's what it kind of feels like. But yeah, I will leave it there. I hope that this was helpful. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. And we'll see you in the next reading. Thank you to everyone who supports my channel through likes, shares, subscribes, donations, um, decks that have been sent in, all sorts of good stuff from you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And a special thank you to the members here on the channel who support my work and get the additional content at free as well as the live streams with me monthly for the Soul Family members. All right, much love and gratitude, guys. We'll see you in the next reading. Bye.